What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What If Boise State Joined the Pac-12. Uh, this is Season 2, Episode Number 2. You can catch all new episodes. I keep smashing my controllers into the table. Uh, you can catch brand new episodes of it live over on Twitch.tv slash Rex Tuesday evenings about 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Or you can catch them on YouTube Saturday nights at 6 p.m. Boise State is now in the top 10 after defeating the Michigan State Spartans by a score of 19-3. They return home to the blue for the first time this season to face Miami University. I believe this is Miami of Ohio. Um, last week's game was interesting. It was weird because it didn't seem like Boise State had a lot of sustained drives. They got some big plays that were able to put them into scoring position. Um, we saw a lot of field goals out of them. And we saw defense really stifle... Michigan State's offense so a good start I'd say on the defensive side of the ball but maybe not the best start on the offensive side of the ball maybe this game will get them clicking a little bit more this should be a this should be an easy game for them uh, Miami no disrespect to you know to them as a football program but the, this should be a game that a top 10 team walks out with a large victory um, we will check really quickly we will check the top 25 polls. I'm not going to worry about looking at the conference standings until we get to conference play, which should be uh, next week. There you can see us highlighted down there at the bottom at number 10. We have Alabama, Stanford, South Carolina, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, wow, uh, Auburn, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Texas A&M. Only three of the top 10 teams played. Uh, Boise State, USC, Mississippi State, Michigan, TCU, Arkansas, Virginia Tech, Florida State, Penn State, Nevada, Nebraska, Arizona, Michigan State, Wisconsin, NC State, and Oregon rounding out the top 25. Additional info dropped out none. Utah, Georgia, North Carolina, LSU, UCF, Florida, Missouri, USF, and SMU all getting additional votes. So, without further ado, we will go ahead and jump into the game. I, we must have played in week one, like, super early, something, I don't know. It's odd. But we'll go ahead and we'll jump in here. We don't worry about the recruiting on this in this one. We'll uh, just make sure that we watch a CPU versus CPU game. And uh, load it up. My controller will turn off. I will forget that it will turn off. And we'll uh, enjoy some football here. Hold R2 to pull back the camera and then use right stick to see the rounds. On triple option plays... Give the ball to the fullback by holding X. Good to know. I believe that's a trophy. Just to use an option play and give it to the first option, which is the fullback. Get dude up here. Alright. Welcome on into a rainy Boise, Idaho. Cloud cover and drizzle as we... Welcome you into NCAA football here on Twitch.tv slash Shaunasaurus Rex Boise State taking on Miami University. This should be Miami of Ohio. And uh, we got a wet one for you today. Right, this game is so much quieter than the last game I played. There are the Broncos for the first time in blue. I think Boise State will have more games at home this season. Than they did last season. Seemed like we were on the road quite a bit, especially during Pac-12 play. So we'll get some uh, we'll get some good games on the blue this season. Hopefully this is one of them. But don't be surprised if it does turn into a blowout pretty early. I know that's a bad thing for a streamer or content creator to say. This game might suck. Maybe just don't worry about this one. Here we go. This is, uh, I believe it's Albertson Stadium down in Boise is what, it's, uh, what it goes by. There's Brent Griffin, 6'185 pound junior out of Texas. He's our spark player. Uh, real Coca-Cola Coca taste in zero calories. Coke Zero. Be Scott Pilgrim. Order a Coke Zero today. Try to keep this one a little more serious, but... All right. Um, 
Miami won the toss. They will defer to the second half, so they will kick it to Boise State, who will field it at about the 10-yard line. Run it up to 28, 29-yard line from uh, Mayhew. See if they get him more involved this uh, this time around. So, first down and 10 from the 29-yard line. The stadium is very quiet. It's going to be a little end-around handoff. He'll bounce it back inside. That's a nice decision on their part. I believe that's uh, Wilson. Seven-yard run there. I can't remember his name, but uh, he was on the team last year, so. Number 15 drops back to pass. That was a dumb, dangerous, behind the line of scrimmage throw. He had a clear lane to his left and could have run pretty easily for a first down on second and three, but instead tried to throw, like, the dangerous pass that we've seen before. That's Clark running it for two yards. That'll be a three and out for Boise State. So their offense continues to struggle. But we've seen we've seen so many interceptions on little float passes out that way. Lucky it wasn't one there. Instead, it'll be a three and out. Fielded from the 15-yard line. Brought up to the 25, so about a 10-yard return there. Miami will get their first crack at it. If you're the coach of the Boise State Broncos, uh, you do worry a little bit that they couldn't have a more sustained drive on the first possession of the game. Backwards pass there. Fall forward for a couple. It'll be second down and eight, number 23. Upset with himself there. Not set up well. It's hard to, hard to gain a lot of positive yards when you start three yards beyond, behind the line of scrimmage. And a pass play. That's a nice defensive play by Boise State. There was nowhere for him to go. Third down and nine. Like they have three down linemen, showed pressure, backed off. They'll give up a third nine pass play all the way up to the 40 yard line. So first down for Miami of Ohio. And they are outperforming the Boise State Broncos because they have one first down. A little jaw going on, John going on there between Tyler and player number 81. There's no names on the backs of the jerseys. Two receivers split top side of your screen in an I formation. Snap jump by Boise State. Drug down for a gain of a yard. That'll be second down and nine. So Boise leads. Er, Boise leads. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. This is a, it's a free play. They're getting a free five yards. Probably should have taken a shot deep. Um. That'll be second down and four. So here we go. Second down and four to go. Short drop. Flipped out to the left side of the field. He'll be right at the first down marker. They'll give him progress for it. Just a one-on-one -on -one block there. and Nice read by the quarterback to get into Boise State territory. So first and 10 from the 49 yard line. Miami of Ohio off to a good start here. Two receivers split each side. Boise State bringing some pressure, leaving the middle open. Fires complete. First down and 10 again for Miami. Uh-oh. Is Boise State in trouble? Hopefully you stuck around to find out. Clock is moving under two and a half to go for here. First quarter, high formation, hand the ball off again. Absolutely pummeled by big number 97. Had a big game last week in Michigan. That time stops him after a gain of one. Boise State will bring out four down linemen. They were working with three there for a little bit. Showing a little pressure off the edge and up the middle. Four rushers wide open on the left side of the field up near the 28-yard line. Third down and two after a completion of seven yards. Third down and two. Boise State, Ben don't break. See if you can hold him to a field goal try here. 
Play action pass. Float pass up over the top. He's got him in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Miami of Ohio. Wow. Wow. There was so much room on that side of the field that threw me off. I, I was anticipating that just being a throwaway pass. But because they were all the way on the left hash and he threw it back across. Nice arc there. Found him wide open for a touchdown. Extra point pending. 6 nothing. Make it 7. Nine play, 76 yard drive for 227. 27 yard touchdown from Turner to Sanchez. So a, a great drive there for Miami. Boise State finds themselves playing from behind. Return from the five yard line. Going up the middle to about the 30, so uh, about a 25 yard return there for Mayhew. Good run. Good run back, I should say. Decent field position for the Broncos of Boise State. Offset I, two receivers, one on the top and one on the bottom of the formation. Fires over to the right side. Incomplete pass. Just couldn't couldn't hold on to it. So second down, 10 yards to go from that same spot. Uh, looks like it's actually going to be marked at the 31-yard line. Come out of an I formation. Play action pass. Float pass up over the top. That is nearly intercepted by Miami. But it does fall harmlessly to the ground. Boise State with a foot pass up over the top. He held on to it that time. Up to the 46-yard line. So a third down and 10 conversion becomes first and 10 near midfield. Let him pretty nicely there. Let him nicely to catch the pass. Maybe left him out to dry a little bit there. See what Boise State can do here. Miami jump the snap. Fires over the left side. That I believe is Wilson. Catching that pass inside the 40. So just like that, back-to-back -back completions. Put Boise State in Miami of Ohio Terry. Territory, excuse me. Fire it over that way. Nice play there. The band will play the fight song as we hit about 60 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Single back set drops back to pass. Took a long time to get rid of that ball, but finally found a cool crossing route there. And that was another big gain inside the 20. Look, that's three first downs in a row. It's kind of a long crossing route here. Had more than enough time to throw it to him at any point before that. But it should set up first and ten at about the 18-yard line or so. Boise State mounting a nice, a nice drive here. Response. That's what I was looking for. Response drive. As the clock ticks under a minute. We'll end around here. Slips one tackle, but can't slip the next two guys that hit him. Mayhew gains one. Second down and nine. Four down lineman for Miami. Two receivers. I formation. Play action pass yet again. Floats it up over the top, and that is a wide open. Tied in there for a touchdown. So an excellent response drive there for the Boise State Broncos. Driving just right down that field. Not really sure why Miami's fallen for the run game. Or the play action pass, the run game is not that good. Fans dejected. There's still a long way to go. We're not even done with the first quarter. 22 seconds remaining. Boise is good. So we will see what the Miami uh, team can do. A 70 yard drive. Didn't take them that long to get down the field. That was a nice combination of sustained drive and big plays. 
Did take him a little bit long to get going here. We'll see if the defense can wake up a little bit. Maybe they're looking forward to a big game next week. I don't know who is the next opponent. I do know that the Pac-12 schedule does start next week for Boise State. I was nearly intercepted, tipped, and broken up by Ward there, number 27. Nice play there. Uh, because there is a weird, I know that because there's a weird non-conference game later in the season. Two receivers, top side of your screen. Oh, they're going to get to him. They are going to get to him. Number 97. Just put number 87 down on his hands and knees and said, I'll take the quarterback now. He had a great game against the uh, Spartans of Michigan State. Might have set up a third down and 18. Coming when we come back. It's the end of the first quarter. Boise State and Miami of Ohio tied at seven. This is ESPN College Football on twitch.tv slash Rex. We'll be right back after the strength of Mountain Dew. Did that look refreshing? Because it was. Four receiver set, single back formation. Boise State bringing a lot of pressure. And they'll get to him. So back to back plays where they lose eight yards. Miami does. It is now fourth and 26 to open the second quarter. Boise State just brought too many. They brought more than Miami could realistically deal with. And. I mean, best case scenario for Boise State there, you get a you get a sack. Worst case scenario was a completed pass, but it should be well short of the first down because he needs to get rid of the ball quickly. So with 441 remaining in the second quarter, take his away. It'll be fielded at the 47-yard line, and he will be slipping a tackle at the 47-yard line, spins against no one, and gets it inside the 40 for a first and 10 Boise State. You could see Boise State start to cook here a little bit. They're in a good position, Clark. A man just standing there. We saw that last week with uh, the Boise State defense against the uh, Michigan State running attack, which was odd. Uh, only picked up two, so second down and eight is coming right up here. Hand the ball off again. And Clark just has nowhere to go. So third down and eight. After the great, two great defensive plays to drop him back, the nice punt return, Boise State in danger of going three and a field goal. Uh, instead, it'll actually just be a touchdown. Just kidding. That was, uh, was a great play there. Found him wide open in the end zone. And just like that, Boise State is up 13-7, extra point pending. Take a look at the replay here. Free and clear, number 20 is. And a beautiful pass there right on the money to give them the lead. There's me, very excited, cheering them on. Up and good. Free play, 37 yard drive. Manson to Brooks for 35 of those yards. 46 seconds off the clock. And a quick score is exactly what you're looking for. Run back will be up to the 23-yard line, maybe the 24. We'll see where they spot the ball. So first and 10 for Miami, who had the lead. An excellent first drive for them. Got right down the field, scored a, a touchdown on a nice long drive. Second drive, not so successful. We'll see what they can do on drive number three. Pitch out to the right side. That'll get them five. So a nice play there. Remember, keep this in the in the back of your mind, your back pocket. Uh, the back pocket of your brains, that is. Miami deferred, so points here would be big. And off to the right side, this or left side, excuse me, this time. And that'll be a gain of zero yards. So let's see, see, say theoretically, their first drive took 2.30 off the clock, right? If they can whittle this down to 30 seconds and score a touchdown, they will get the ball first. 
in the second half. He is winding up for a big play down the sideline. Nothing doing there. It'll be fourth down and five. I spoke too soon. Boise State is warmed up in the rain here. And this is more, more what I expected to see from the start for Boise State. Boise State special teams not great. I have noticed that. That they are not uh, not the greatest. Their punt returns are not typically good. That's why it was so surprising that they had such a big one last time around. Quarterback drops back. I believe it's Manson. Look at that little sideline animation catch. Uh, Manson is 6 for 9 passing. Noise for 110 yards. Second down and four. Clock is moving. Plenty of time, though. All three timeouts for both teams. Hand off. We'll go try the left side. Nothing doing. Gain of two. Excuse me. So third down and three. Not a whole lot of room, but made a very minor amount of headway. Offset eye. And the ball off going straight up the gut. That's a big run. Looks like he ran directly into an official. That's a first down and 10. That'll be on the opposite side of the field. A nice run there. See the official just get clobbered by about six dudes. First and 10 from the 46-yard line. Boise State looking to uh, increase their lead here. They also may have Miami right where they want them. That was a pass that I am surprised got caught. I thought that was going to be a pick. 14 to 7 here. Let's take a look at this replay. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be intercepted. No such luck for Miami. Instead, it's a big play for the Boise State Broncos. We'll have a first down and 10 near the red zone. Actually, it's at the 23-yard line. I wasn't exactly sure where they would spot him. But the 23-yard line is where they do spot him. Drops back to pass. Fires a bullet to his receiver. I believe that's Wilson. It is. Nice little slant there. Boise State will take a timeout. First down and 10. Minute 37 seconds to go. They can get a first down before the touchdown. Though I doubt you really want to worry about that. Pitch to the right. Nothing doing. Tries to break it left. Nothing doing. I'll take a timeout. Second down and 11. No reason to take timeouts here. You have a lot of time. Almost got him to bite. Number 50. Thought about jumping. Fires the pass. It is complete. It is a touchdown. And that will make it 20 to 7. Miami led by seven in the early going of this game. Boise State has ripped off 21 straight points. Still a minute and 28 seconds on the clock as well. Seven plays, 61 yards, a minute and 21 seconds off the clock. Manson to Utley for 12 yards to uh, finish that drive off. You're looking at a two-score game here. Now, Miami's still not out of it. The, the, the double-dip rule still applies, or thought process or, or style of football. If they can get a quick score here, score again, they're right back in it. Trips receivers to the top side of your screen. Boise State look like they're bringing a little pressure there. Finding instead a wide open receiver. Talk about a quick score. One play. And that is a touchdown for Miami of Ohio. My goodness. They threw to the correct side of the field that time. Boise State brought pressure from that right side of the quarterback. Found a wide open receiver. One missed tackle. And that's all he needed. That is a huge play for Miami. Showing some life here in the second quarter. Now, the question. Did they leave Boise State too much time here? The extra point pending. Miami needs their defense to step up. Miami 
Boise State 21, Miami 14 as the kick return is returned from the 15 yard line. He'll get all the way up to the 34. What a return there by Wilson. Wilson doing a little bit of everything here. Punt returns, kick returns, receiving. My goodness. Wilson on the receiving end of that pass for six yards. This is where Boise State probably would like to have a couple of those timeouts. They took them pretty unnecessarily with too much time on the clock. Now they're stuck with one. The pressure is going to get to him. That'll bring the sack down. Miami would maybe think about using a timeout here, you would expect. They brought some nice pressure there. Number 24 coming off that edge. Helped out. Number 90 polishing him off. It'll be third down and 11. Boise State can just hold on to this ball. They don't have any reason to do anything. Miami needs to take a timeout. Did you see how score fast you scored last time? Oh, they're snapping it with a lot of time on the clock. Float pass over the top is going to be incomplete, so that stops the clock. 32 seconds left here in the first half. Fourth down and 11. So, from the 21, the returner will get up to the 30. Took a lot of time there to go down. Of course, maybe Miami isn't super worried about it because they did score so quickly last time. So, from the 30-yard line, Miami's defense got a stop. Worst-case scenario, Miami goes into the second half down a touchdown. Best-case scenario, they floated over the top and nearly throw an interception. The interception, not part of the best-case scenario, but... Best case scenario, they go into half tied. 20 seconds to go. Three timeouts. Clock stops to move the chains. Boise State pretty, seeming pretty willing here to just let it go. Only rushing three down linemen. That was a nice play by the Miami receiver. Getting up the field there. Maybe Miami just gets into field goal range here. 15 seconds to go. That's, you know, a couple chunk plays here at the 48. They're trying to bring a little bit of pressure. Oh, nothing doing there. Miami's got to take a timeout. So they're going to need one big play. They're going to probably need to get to about the first down marker. So they probably need about 20 yards, I would say. Uh, instead, they will get nothing. They dial up the pressure a little bit. Makes you wonder what Boise State was thinking when they were like, Let's just only rush three. We'll drop eight into coverage, and we'll let him just sit back there and find the open man. Now they need about 25 yards. Oh, slipped. Huge throw. That's a pick. So when it's all said and done, they end up down by the same score. You see that little slide there. Wasn't able to quite get enough under it. Slide through off the timing, threw off the amount of strength he was able to get behind that ball. He, I mean, he had him in kind of a softer spot if, if he didn't slide. There was uh, nobody really there. So Boise State presumably will just run this clock out, and that's a handoff uh, up the middle. we get pushed forward for four, and the hat is halftime. It's so a little bit of a wacky ending there. Twenty-one fourteen, the tenth ranked Boise State Broncos, leading as we go into halftime. Boise State is lined up for the kickoff. Twenty-one fourteen. So here we go. Miami can exercise their their first half kick return situation or their second half kick return situation and try and score a touchdown and tie this game up. Here's our ga look at our game track. That was a great play for the opening touchdown of the game. Some nice passing in the first half. Some long bombs for some touchdowns. That was a that cut the deficit down to 7. Miami scored the first 7, Boise State scored 21 in a row. Miami scored seven with about a minute to go in the second quarter. They had an opportunity to put more points on the board, but a couple of sacks pushed them out of field goal range or even 
reasonable range to get enough yards to try a field goal. So now they'll work with a full clock where they can do whatever they so choose. Uh, and they choose to run it to the left side and that'll be a uh, no gainer. Three receivers, top side of your screen. We'll be looking for some kind of screen there. Fires over the the left side. Third down in inches, so nine yards. Just not quite enough. He just sat there and waited. Sullivan making a nice tackle there. Third down in inches, dropping back to pass, tipped at the line, incomplete. So Boise State comes up with a stop on the opening drive of the second half, and it'll be fourth down in inches from the 41-yard line. Kick is away. Fielded at about the 23-yard line, he'll get up to maybe the 31 if he's lucky. So with uh, four minutes to go here in the third quarter, Boise State takes the snap. Five-yard gain for uh, Clark there. So second down and five coming right up for you from the 25-yard line. And the ball off to Clark again. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Pushes himself forward for four. Third down and one coming up. wonder if Boise State's uh, game plan is shifted to control the clock. Just kind of just get out of here with a win. Third straight handoff. That'll be a first down yardage there. So first and 10 for the Boise State Broncos coming up. That was a, but only about a two yard gain. Another five-yard gain, so they're finding some some creases and some holes in this Miami defense, trying to impose their will. So they just work it down. A little over a minute on this drive. Roll out to the left, find Wilson on a little throw back over the middle. Six-yard gain will give it a first down and ten for Boise State. Robert Manson, 11 for 15, 169 yards. Nice. He was 1.6 for 9, and now he has 169 yards, so double win. Fires over the middle, and that one is uh, that one's just dropped. It's like it hit him right in the hands. So that'll bring up second down and 10 for the Boise State Broncos from the 46-yard line in enemy territory. Working their way down the field. That is going to be a false start. You can see him flinch on the line. Still suck it down. Oh, a delayed handoff. Excellent call there. That is a 13 yard gain. It is all of a sudden third and two. Just a beautiful call there. Well up into the second level, getting a good block there. Sprung Clark free for a gain of 13. Wow. Just when you thought Boise State was maybe not looking so good, that false start. No, that'll work. 13 yards will work. Unfortunately, negative three is not how you want to follow that up. Miami sold out to stop the run there. And that'll hold Boise State to a field goal. So Miami's defense is doing what they can to keep their offense in this game. That is a well short. I'm sure that ball is wet and heavy in this uh, non-stop rain that we have seen all day here in Boise. 21 to 14. Still a one score game. Miami's shown a little explosiveness. They've shown some 
Uh, they've shown a long drive. They've shown an explosive play. See what we get this time around. First down and 10 from the 41-yard line. Drops back to pass. Fires over to the left side. That is incomplete. Looks like maybe it's just a little miscommunication there. The receiver was coming back to get it, but not an accurate throw maybe. Kind of a mess there. Second down and 10. Boise State, four down linemen. See if they bring any pressure from that mid-level. Now they won't. Miami will run it. They'll pick up a gain of three, two. Second down and eight. As we wind down the third quarter here, a minute and a half to go. Drops back to pass. That's going to be a fumble picked up by Boise State. He'll be down there. 32-yard line or so. First and 10, Miami. They've given themselves some opportunities. I was a little surprised this was a fumble. Um, that is... Huh. That, that's a fumble, huh? All right. Boise State takes over. Quarterback's getting... Talking to you from the coach. So Miami's defense will have to hold them again. See if Boise State would even really try a field goal from this distance. That field goal from the 41 was uh, not even close, honestly. I formation. Two receivers to the top side of your screen. They are really working this run game. Tries to bounce it out to the left. Not a whole lot of room there. Still picks up two. Falling forward. Really churning this clock down. Curious to see what the uh, rankings are for the Boise State Broncos next week. Doesn't feel like they're really winning this game sometimes. It feels like they're surviving. That was nearly a pick. Miami's defense comes up again to force a fourth down. And it, honestly, if he intercepts that ball instead of bats it down, he might be gone. From the reverse angle there, from behind him, it did not look like there was a Boise State any player anywhere near him. Kick is up. The kick is good. So that'll push the lead back out. They're up to 10, I should say. There's as many as 14. Four plays, six yards, 47 seconds. 44-yard field goal is good by Hale. From the five, runs it up past the 20. Slips a tackle, second guy gets him. So I'll mark him down probably at about the 23-yard line or so. Here's a look at the game track. Boise State's defense has done a good job getting pressure when they need to. They have given up some plays. They got the fumble that I wasn't sure was a was a fumble. Now we have the same animation we saw earlier, but number 30 is getting yelled at. Three knockdowns, or I'm sorry, three hurries, zero knockdowns, five sacks on the day for the Boise State Broncos with 21 seconds remaining in the third quarter. They will try a little quarterback option here. Quarterback keeps it and runs for three. That might run us down to the end of the third quarter here. Second down and seven coming up. That's exactly what it will do. That is the end of three. Boise State's up ten. Miami still has a chance. They're fighting. See what uh, see what they can do in the fourth quarter. This is ESPN College Football on twitch.tv slash Shaunasaurus Rex. All right, second down and seven from the shotgun. Tipped away and broken up there. There were three Boise State players there and two Miami receivers. Not uh, not typically a good good outcome for the offensive team in that situation. For the outnumbered team, in which case this was the offensive team. 
Third down and seven turns into a fourth and 14 after a seven yard sack. That is number six on the day. Held onto the ball too long, slipped the first defender, but the second defender came in and cleaned up the sack. So we'll see a punt from Miami. It'll be fielded at the 38 yard line. And that'll be about a 12 yard return up to right around midfield, maybe the 49 yard line for Wilson. 4.35 to go here, and that'll actually mark it right at the 50. Boise State finding that was a wide open receiver. Wide open. That should have been six. Nothing doing there. So Boise State throwing the ball now. You figured they'd be in their four-minute offense. There's something you, something you would more expect to see. Four-yard rush there. Just kind of keep that clock moving, see if they can churn some yards out on the ground and just get the heck out of here. Not the cleanest performance, honestly, not the cleanest day that they've had to deal with. Rain throughout the afternoon here in Boise. Pass is going to be just enough for the first down. I am surprised that they marked that. And it looks like number 20 is actually injured on that play. We'll have to see how he's doing. He is on the ground. Hopefully he's all right. So they'll give him enough yards for a first down. Clock will reset, or stop, excuse me, while the chains are reset. Single back formation. Short drop, a little slant pass over. That should be Wilson again. Six yard catch for him. That'll be second down and four. Wilson honestly might even be the player of the game. He is, he's catching the ball, he's returning punts, he's returning kicks. Hand it off to him, why not? A little option play here. Manson didn't really have any option there to do anything. Just a, that's a bad play. So third down and six, they'll let this clock wind down. So we hit uh, three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Not quite the blowout that I anticipated it being, uh, though it has the feeling of a game where Miami was in it for a minute. They, they were in it for a little bit, but it, once Boise State ripped off those 21 points in a row, never really feel like felt like Miami was going to get back into this game. They gave themselves chances. They had some opportunities. Uh, they made a couple of stops. They had the field goal that, that was missed. Some bounces went their way, but they just couldn't get anything going offensively consistently enough to uh, to really do anything. So as Boise State waits here for the clock to wind down to about three. Oh, two, excuse me. Kick is away, and that one is short. That one was uh, from about the same distance that we saw the first Missed field goal. So it looks like we're figuring out the range of the kicker this time around. Still a 10-point game. Miami still has all three timeouts. And pretty good field position from the 37-yard uh, line. That was actually that was a little closer. It's about five yards closer. Winds up to throw. Finds a wide-open receiver on the right side of the field. He'll get pushed out of bounds in Boise State territory at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Clock is moving. They'll run some motion there. Bring a little extra protection. Slides up in the pocket. Throws over the receiver's head. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10. Single back set. Uh, just kind of a mess. A whole mess happened right there. The animation was just weird. He didn't do the drop that he needed to do, and that was an easy sack for Boise State. So we'll see what happens here. 144 remaining clock is moving. Three timeouts for him. So they need to score quickly here. Quickly, maybe onside kick. There's a nice completed pass down to the 25-yard line. They'll hurry it up. It'll stop while it moves the chains. 
Again, three receivers down on the bottom side of your screen. Fires over the middle, or over the left side, excuse me. Touchdown, Miami. Wow. Wide open for that, that touchdown. Got immediately behind the defense. I believe that's Sullivan on the back side. And that is six points. The extra point pending. So now you have the interesting situation here. They only need a field goal to tie. Onside kick. Do you just kick it deep, use your timeouts? Five plays, 62 yards, 38 seconds. That's what Miami needed early in this game, probably like right after halftime, just a quick, a quick drive. Um, we'll see an onside kick here. Nothing doing there for Miami. So Boise State will get it from the 40. A field goal doesn't completely do Miami. So we'll see what they do here. Boise State's been more than willing to just run the football. I imagine that's what they'll do. Make Miami use the timeouts. Clark finds a nice, nice little hole there. Five yards, second down and five. Tries to find some more room, nothing doing there. Timeout immediately, third down and four. Here we go, ball game. First down, Boise wins it. Third down stop from Miami. I'll hand the ball off and they're gonna go fourth and in inches. Oh my goodness. Do we actually have a good, fantastic ending here? Boise State kicks, it's no good. That field goal was wide left. Miami still has a chance. They only need a field goal to force overtime. And what's been a game that's been largely dominated by Boise State? Miami has a chance. Drops back to pass. That is a terrible play. I don't know why you threw that at all. Let's see if they just spike it here. They will. So it's immediately third down and 11 after two very bad plays. So third down and 11 from the 28 yard line. Boise State has done them a lot of favors. They've missed three field goals. Oh no. It's gonna be fourth and 19. Is he gonna spike it on fourth and 19? He's not going to spike it on 4th and 19. No, he's going to drop back. Deep drop. Fires over the middle. He's wide open. <gasps> They're in business. Oh, my goodness. What a huge play on 4th and 19. They'll spike it on 1st and 10. All right. 2nd down and 10. They don't need a ton of yards. The important part here is that number 16 can't take a sack. That's been his issue throughout the throughout the game is taking bad sacks. I would say they probably need 10 more yards, realistically. Stands in. That's 10. Clock should stop because it is a first down. They'll most likely stop it here. Oh, my God. Miami on fourth and 19 or 18, whatever it was. Fourth and way too long to be giving up a conversion like that. <gasps> oh, Miami nearly, literally fumbled the ball away. They're going to take a booth review with this. That's going to stop the clock, which is a huge benefit for Miami University here. Miami's got to be ready. That's not a fumble. His wrist, his arm, his knee, there's a lot down there. Yeah, that's not a fumble. It's third and one. See what uh, Miami does here. There's no reason for them to, well. Big gamble on third and one. They're going to get it all the way down to the five-yard line. Clock's going to stop to move the chains. First and goal from the six. Unbelievable what I am watching right now. 13 seconds to go. You can get take a couple shots at the end zone here. I don't know if you'd want to, but... Sixteen cannot take a sack. He just he can't take a sack. 
That might doom him. They're only rushing three. He fires over to the left. That might doom him right there. <gasps> they don't have enough time. Four, three, two. They're going to spike it with two seconds remaining. Oh, my goodness. Unreal. That kick is up. That kick is good. We are going to overtime. Miami came to life in that fourth quarter. My goodness. Don't listen to the commentators, folks, okay? When they tell you that it's going to be a boring blowout game, say no. What if, man? What if? The score is tied. It is 24-24. Boise, Boise State did everything they possibly could to keep Miami in this game. They missed three field goals. My goodness. Boise State nearly threw an interception that probably would have ended the game. Wow, that was in the, th like, at least, not uh, double coverage. Glad I looked at that instead of, I thought it, it looked like triple, but. See what Manson could do here. It seems like Boise State's gotten a little loose here. They haven't been, they haven't been as sharp. What was a 21-7 game is all of a sudden. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. Is all of a sudden a 24-24 game. What difficulty is the sim? It is on Heisman. That's nearly intercepted. That is three incomplete passes. That is uh, uh, nearly intercepted on two of those. Number three is going to be kicking himself if they can't come away with a win here. He would have come down and bounced, to be fair. Should be on Heisman, though. Also, thanks for stopping by the stream. Kick is up. That kick is good. 27-24. Should have built out that storyline a little bit more. He is two for five on field goals today. Two for five. Two of them short, a little out of his range. One of them just uh, wide to the left. That's a fire. That's a touchdown. Game over. Oh my goodness. That's a touchdown. Miami upsetting the number 10 team in the country in overtime. Boise State dropping a non-conference game that I thought for sure was going to be a blowout. Don't listen to the commentators, kids. Just watch the games. 30-27 to 27 is the final score here. Wow. Wow. I... Can't believe it. We'll enjoy the play of the game here. This was uh, about a minute left in the first half. This cut the lead down to seven for Boise State. Wow. Just that's all I can say is wow. What a game from Miami. They fought and clawed. They stuck around. Took advantage. They finally ended up started taking advantage of Boise State's mistakes and missed field goals. Brent Griffin, seven receptions, 160 yards. And was that three touchdowns? What an upset. Boise State is absolutely shocked at home on the blue. That's your play of the game. That was a nice touchdown. I believe that cut it down to 24-21. Toward the end of the game, got behind Sullivan on the defense. And here it is, your game-winning touchdown. 
That did it. Miami takes home the win. Let's see if we get any good screenshots here. So far, no. So far, still no. Uh, also, no. Okay, great. None of them are good. They're all bad. Turn the old webcam back on. All right. Um, before we go, I, wow. Uh, we will take a look at the game stats. Scoring, we'll take a look at the scoring summary just for this one. Uh, Boise State only scored three points in the entire second half. They get outscored 16 to 6. I guess overtime technically does count, but uh, third quarter with 25 seconds, they hit a field goal, and that was it. Touchdown with 128 for Miami, and then uh, field goal as time expired. But three terrible throws from Ma Manson, the Boise State quarterback, made it nice and easy for the Miami University Redhawks to either tie the game and extend it into a second overtime or do what they did and just say, hey, you know what? We want a touchdown. We, we want the ball. We are going to win. That is it. So 30-27. to 27, It was 21-14 at half. What a... What a game. Ten points in the fourth quarter. Player stats. Uh, Manson, 13 to 23 for 181 yards. Three touchdowns, no picks. Clark, 19 attempts for 65 yards. 3.4 yard average. Um, Garcia had one for negative two. Mayhew had one for one. And Wilson had one for seven. Receiving wise, Wilson, five for 48. Utley, 3 for 36, Brooks, 2 for 41, Jefferson, 2 for 40, Mayhew, 1 for uh, 16, and then Tillman and Clark must be have drops attributed to them. Yes, they do. Last but not least, we'll check the defensive stats here. It was a sack of Palooza here. Abrams and Wright with 2 each. Bryant and Branch with 1.5 each, and then 1 for Owen. Uh, one interception for Ward. And uh, that, that was about it. But on the Miami side of the ball, four touchdowns, one interception for Turner, who was 17 and 25. Uh, Turner had 10 attempts for negative 42 yards. That's bad. Bradshaw only eight, only 11 yards on eight carries. Receiving wise, though, Brent Griffin, three touchdowns on seven receptions, 160 yards. Sanchez had two for 34 for, with uh, with one touchdown. Excuse me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Defensively, they only had one sack. No picks. But a uh, fantastic game nonetheless. Boise State upset in Boise at home. Incredible. Incredible, incredible finish. That'll, uh, that'll do it. Get out of here in under an hour. That's nice. All right. We will see where Boise State will fall. Heartbreaker fans of Boise are mourning Boise State's loss. Overtime loss to Miami University. We'll see how far the Boise State Broncos fall next week on What If Boise State Joined the Pac-12. If you like this kind of content, you can watch it live on Twitch.tv slash Rex Tuesday evenings as part of the Sports Block starting at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time. If you want, you can just stick around on YouTube. You can catch it Saturday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And that is when it posts. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.